This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk as we recap 2020 and 2021. A lot of accomplishments. The goal was to play the sports and competitions, but then a lot of your programs exceeded those by winning championships and, and just having a ton of success this year. Absolutely. As, as I mentioned, the goal was to be able to play. Everything else was just extra. It was icing. But we had a lot of icing uh, this year just based on the way that our student athletes competed. And, you know, I, I look back five years ago when I first accepted this position and I can remember telling the story at, uh, I think it was at my press conference, a conversation that I'd had with Jamie Pollard when I was working with at Iowa State. And when we were talking about this position, come, becoming the AD, he started talking about UNI athletics and the fact that we were good in a number of different sports. And that was one of the things that was appealing to me coming in was that it wasn't just a program that was good in one sport, but a program that was good across the board. And I think we saw that again this year. Uh, and it's really reflected in what you see with the milestones with our coaches when you look at what Bobby Peterson was able to do. Uh, Coach Jake winning his 300th game, uh, Farley winning his 100th game within the conference, Tanya winning her 250th game. That doesn't happen without sustained success year in and year out. And so that means you have a lot of teams over a long period of time who've had success and we had that same success this year. So just looking across all of our sports, really proud, even the ones that didn't have the kind of year that they wanted to have. I was proud of the way that they competed, but we were still able to win championships. We were still able to have the NCAA tournament bids. We were still able to have players of the year. All of the things that I think the Panther family are used to seeing, we were able to have it this year, and so I'm tremendously proud of them. Give a plug for the Panther Scholarship Club because financially, that is something that makes everything happen here at UNI. It is, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's the lifeblood of what we do. Uh, our annual giving uh, campaign that happens every year to be able to support scholarships for student athletes. This year's goal is 1.6 million. Uh, we're in a position now that we're above a million dollars, so we have the rest of the year to get the rest of it, and I believe that we're gonna do it. Uh, we had a good year last year, even during the pandemic, so I believe we're gonna have an even better year uh, this year. We have uh, the number one and number two fundraising years for the PSC in the past couple of years. Uh, I think we're going to set a new record. I think we're going to hit 1.6. Uh, but in order to do that, we need new people to come in. We need all of the people who've given before to continue to give and maybe give a little bit more. Uh, but we need people who are watching this that maybe have never given to the PSC to become members. Because when we talk about a strategic plan, one of the things was to increase the membership and to increase the amount of money that we were trying to bring in. So we're trying to get to 2,000 members and $2 million within a five year time period. And the only way you're gonna do that is to have new members and you can become a member uh, for as little as you know $50 or so. So it doesn't take a tremendous amount of money. Uh, it just takes a commitment to understand that our student athletes need that support, they deserve it. And the more they can get that support, the better product you will see in the various fields of competition for us. Here's a story now on one of those great student athletes, Darius King. 